Hi everyone, my name is Alicia and I work at LACMA. Welcome to Andel Family Sundays Anytime. I'm so pleased to introduce you to our new virtual programming for families. Hola, me llamo Alicia y trabajo en LACMA. Bienvenidos a Domingos en Familia Andel cuando quieras. Estoy muy contenta de introducir la nueva programación virtual para familias. Today, LACMA teaching artists George Evans and Beatriz Jaramillo are going to show you how to make a ballot box. They were inspired by a print they love about voting made by black artist Jacob Lawrence. Hoy, artistas docentes de LACMA, George Evans y Beatriz Jaramillo, les enseñarán cómo hacer una urna para votar. Se inspiraron en un grabado sobre votación que les encanta del artista negro Jacob Lawrence. Now take it away, Beatriz and George. Ahora llévenlo, Beatriz y George. Hi, I am Beatriz Jaramillo. I am an art educator and a teaching artist at LACMA. Hi. And welcome to our studio. My name is George Evans, and I'm also an arts educator and a teaching artist at LACMA. Together, we're going to explore the work of a very important African-American artist by the name of Jacob Lawrence. We're going to get inspired and create a wonderful art activity. Hola, mi nombre es Beatriz Jaramillo. Yo soy una educadora de arte y una artista enseñando para el Museo del Condado de Los Ángeles. Conmigo está mi colega y amigo George Evans. Juntos vamos a explorar la obra de un importante artista afroamericano llamado Jacob Lawrence. Y luego nos inspiraremos en su obra para hacer un trabajo creativo. Let's take a look at one of his screen prints and give ourselves some observation time. What do you see first? Miremos primero una de sus obras impresas y tomémonos un tiempo para observarla. ¿Qué es lo primero que te llama la atención? The first thing that I notice are the usage of bright solid colors. To me, this print is telling a story. I notice there is a lot of people around, but I'm curious, who are they, and what are they doing there? A George, lo que más le llamó la atención fueron sus colores brillantes, y para mí que esta obra cuenta una historia. Hay mucha gente alrededor y me da curiosidad saber quiénes son y qué es lo que hacen en esa habitación. The title gives us a clue. The title of the print is The Migrants Arrive and Cast Their Ballots. Okay. Now I understand they are in a voting room. But if the artist called them migrants, it means they are not originally from that place. Who are they? And where did they come from? Este grabado se llama Llegan los migrantes y votan. Así pues que el título nos da la clave. Pero quiénes son y de dónde vienen? The print was produced in the 1920s and is about the Great Migration which started after the freedom from slavery of the African-American people in the South. African-American people were looking for opportunities and moved from the South to the North and also to the West. Thanks, George. Qué explicación tan interesante. Eso quiere decir que muchas personas descendientes de los grupos afroamericanos se vieron forzados a migrar desde el sur y el este de los Estados Unidos a los estados del norte y el oeste en busca de una mejor calidad de vida después de la liberación de los esclavos. I'm also a product of the Great Migration. It started in 1863 and continues up until the 1970s. My great grandfather went by the Underground Railroad from Tennessee to the Great Oklahoma Land Rush in 1899, where he staked a claim and started and started a farm. Even then, in order to vote as an African American, he had to pay to vote. It's called a poll tax. Voting is very important to our communities because that is how we build our futures. Oh, así que tu familia 
fue parte de esta gran migración y tú eres el resultado de este movimiento. Hmm. Pero para poder votar, tu abuelo necesitó pagar una penalidad por ser afroamericano. El derecho al voto es muy importante para nuestras comunidades, pues significa que podemos elegir cómo queremos vivir y progresar. So we're ready to start our process of creating an amazing ballot to vote with. And let's take a look at the materials that we'll need first. So, now that we have our materials all together, let's start by making a voting ballot. And to do this, this is a standard size of a basic business card. So if you want to use this, or you can make this any size that you want. Matter of fact, I think I might make mine a little bit bigger than this, okay? And so a little bit bigger means the easier it is to write. Para hacer la balota, puedes hacerla del mismo tamaño de una carta de presentación o un poco más grande. Al hacerla un poco más grande, quiere decir que va a ser más fácil escribir en ella. So, the topic for ballot will be, what's for dinner tonight? Do we have hamburgers or hot dogs? And so we'll vote and decide. Para el tema de nuestra tarjeta de votación, vamos a escoger el mismo tema que ya habíamos hablado. Vamos a decidir si vamos a tener hamburguesas o perros calientes. Now it's time for us to make a voting box. Vamos a preparar nuestra caja. Para en mi caso voy a necesitar poner una cinta para hacerla un poco más firme y cerrarla. Now for this voting box, I'm going to take my ballot and move it out of the way. Take my pencil. Well, let's see where the top is, and this is just a small Kleenex box. And I'm going to just make a line there and make a line here. Now I'm going to just turn this and I'm going to make a, another line here and another line here. Okay, so now with this, I'm going to cut this shape out. my scissors and again we're doing this very loosely because we want to enjoy what we're doing and it should be exciting and fun. We're measuring a little bit so we're getting our math experience, we're being creative and we're thinking in terms of our art so we're learning. I'm going to fold this piece of construction paper so use my ruler and just fold it there. And I want to fit this right around this corner like this. And I'm going to take a piece of tape here. And I'm just going to tape right across here. And another piece of tape. Vamos a borrar la caja por los lados. Para eso voy a acomodar este, este extremo de la caja junto con el extremo del papel y lo trazo alrededor. Después roto la caja y trazo otra vez las líneas hasta donde llegan y continúo. 
puedo cortar. So I'm just using little pieces of tape, just like this. I'm going to take another piece and repeat this process. Y aprovechando que tengo la regla a la mano, voy a utilizarla como un elemento sólido que me ayuda a doblar el papel con más facilidad. Así que puedo doblarlo y utilizando la cinta puedo fijarla a la caja. Después vamos a repetir el proceso en el otro segmento de la caja para forrarla totalmente. Now that we have the sides of our box, we need the top. And my box already has a hole in it, but I see that yours doesn't. I will open one. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to let you get started to making a hole in your box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark off the piece of paper that I'm going to make for my top. Okay, so let's go ahead. And get started. En la caja de George, él tiene directamente un hueco en la parte de arriba. Para la, mi caso, necesitamos abrir un hueco. Así que yo voy a hacerlo mientras él organiza la parte de arriba de su caja. Para eso, siguió la misma forma que lo habíamos hecho antes, haciéndole un, un trazo de esta forma y eso es lo que tiene ya marcado ahí yo mientras tanto voy a abrir la caja if you need to use very sharp scissors to open this hole please ask for help I use kind of a pointy one and I start cutting around Si necesitas ayuda, porque vas a utilizar tijeras que tienen una punta muy filuda, por favor pide ayuda a un adulto. Ahora voy a hacer lo mismo que hizo George. Voy a voltear mi caja y voy a trazar la parte de arriba. Voy a cortarla así como ya lo hizo yo. Very nice. 
We have colorful boxes. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> we need color in our lives. <laughs> yes. So now that we have our tops, we want to fit these, and we're going to do this very easy. And what I'm going to do is I'm looking at the size of my voting ballot, and I'm looking at where I want to very easily make this fit. So what, and that we can do this very easily. I'm just going to lightly kind of mark this off a little bit here and there. And then what I'm going to do is take my scissors and I'm just going to kind of cut this right in half. Así que vamos a cortar más o menos a la mitad nuestro papel. Vamos a mirar que se acomode. ¡Oh, perfecto! Aquí está. Y después voy a cortarle un pequeño hueco. Que es donde se va a acomodar mi balota. Le decimos balota. O también le podemos decir boleta de votación. Then I'm going to take this other side. And I'm going to leave a little opening there, and I can, and I'm going to shorten it a little bit. So I'm going to take my paper, and I'm just going to cut a little bit off of that. Here's the scissors, if you would like. Thank you. Yes, I okay. just need this tape. Lo que necesito es la cinta para fijar la parte de arriba. And I'm going to now. Fit that. So now we have an opening in our box. I take the sides, but I have a bit of a steel showing, and I kind of want, would like to decorate that too. So I'm going to take my scissors and just cut a couple of little pieces. Just to fit and give it a little color. I love that, George. I made it differently, but I think I like your idea a lot too. <laughs> and I like yours a lot too. So we have options of how we can make this work. There are a number of ways that we can do this. And process again we want to have fun so now we have our voting boxes Land Acknowledgement LACMA respectfully acknowledges that the land on which our museum is built and the region that we serve is the traditional and unceded territory of the Tongva, Tatatvyam, and Chumash people. Los Angeles County has been and is home to many indigenous peoples. 
As an art museum and a collecting institution, LACMA recognizes the role such institutions play in the continual displacement of indigenous peoples and is committed to working to dismantle the ongoing effects of this colonial legacy. I filmed this video from my home in the Eagle Rock neighborhood in Los Angeles on Tongva and Chumash land. Beatrice and George filmed from Los Angeles, California on Tongva land.